All right, we're here with Dr. Kyle Kiesel. Uh, he's in Sydney with the FMS group, the Functional Movement Systems, and we're being hosted by Elixir Health Clubs. And uh, we've just got him here to ask me a few questions. Uh, do you want to start off by telling us a bit about yourself? Sure, and yeah. How you got involved with Functional Movement Systems? Yeah, absolutely, and thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, uh, my name is Kyle Kiesel and I've been involved with the Functional Movement System since its inception. Uh, I went to work with Gray Cook back in a physio clinic in Virginia in the States, uh, right out of school, 1996. And uh, from there we, we really have been uh, working together, uh, growing the model. Uh, we started just kind of intuitively working uh, what made sense to us relative to some fundamental movements and it's really grown from there. Obviously, uh, over 20 years, so many great people have helped and uh, been part of it. And we brought so many different people on, but uh, I've been fortunate to really practice this way my, my really my entire career. Um, I left Virginia, went into academics. I started working at university, and that's when I went into my PhD and started doing researching and core uh, function was uh, the initial things, and now we do quite a bit with injury pre uh, prediction and prevention. So. Yeah. 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 All right. And for those that haven't had anything to do with functional movement systems, particularly the SFMA, uh -huh. uh, could you give us an idea about what the selective functional movement assessment is about? Sure. So, you know, we have three different measurement levels that we look at from our company, and that's the screening level, the testing level, and then the assessment. And assessment, we say, would mean we need your judgment to help us look at, at movement. So. Yeah. When we, we talk about selective functional movement assessment, we use this to guide our rehabilitation. So we have a certification process that would uh, certify those that are that are rehab or medical providers. So that that's a definitely a first thing is the SFMA is, is for medical for medical rehabilitation, physio, chiro, uh, osteopaths is going to main people and athletic trainers in the states. So when you're dealing with rehab, someone that has pain, uh, we just really believe in this concept of regional interdependence, and that is that. A problem in one part of the body could be contributing to their main complaint yeah. and so what we've learned uh, over the years is if you if you just go in and treat where it hurts you're treating the source of the pain yeah. but often that's not the cause of the big problem you have to look bigger so we just taking that uh, concept uh, we've evolved into uh, quite a uh, inclusive assessment uh, as you know going through the training yeah. uh, where we teach you how to look at uh, full body movement patterns and we partition those that are painful and not painful and those that are normal and not normal and we're going to look at the ones that are not normal we call dysfunctional and figure out why. Uh, another simple way to say is we're going to come up with an actual diagnosis instead of just saying something hurts or something is tight or something is weak we're going to use uh, a model to diagnose why movement is not uh, at some optimal level. So we've uh, been able to create sort of what we consider to be optimal movement patterns and, and we're going to start from there. So you're moving beyond that tissue and lesion diagnosis to a more functional based diagnosis? Yeah, it's a, that's a great way to say it and we certainly still believe and you need to know what's going on at that local level. I would just, I use this term pretty simply, say the medical diagnosis. It's a medical uh, issue, fine, we need to know that, that's, that's important, but we also need to know movement oriented contributing factors. Um, so a lot of reasons why, and if, if you think about any reason, uh, just recognize that the, the number one risk factor for injury is the previous injury, which face validity of that tells us maybe our rehabilitation processes need some work. So that, that's really uh, what drives what we do. Terrific. Excellent. Well, that's a great description of what the uh, SFMA is all about. So I hope that clears things up and inspires other practitioners to get in and uh, learn this stuff. Uh, it's really changed the way I practice. And uh, these guys are out here every year um, in all big cities in Australia. So get into it, check it out. Thanks for your time. Thanks a lot. All right.